Hey AI enthusiast, I have created this Luma and Runway ML Gen 3 Alpha Custom GPT prompter. If you watch this video until the end, you will be able to create your own custom GPT prompter for Luma and Runway ML Gen 3 Alpha. In this custom GPT prompter, you will see these two options to start a conversation. Let's say you want to create a prompt for Luma AI, so you need to just click on this Luma AI prompter option. Then, this custom GPT will ask you to select one of these options. Let's say we want to create a video from text using Luma AI, so we need to select this text to video option. And to do so, we need to reply with one. Now, it will ask you to provide a scene idea in just one line. Now let's say we want to generate a video of a lion walking in jungle. So I entered a lion walking in jungle as the scene idea. And here you can see that this custom GPT has generated this awesome and structured prompt. Low angle tracking shot. The camera follows a lion walking through a dense jungle with lush green foliage. Sunlight filters through the canopy, creating dappled light on the ground. The atmosphere is serene and natural sounds of the jungle are present. Let's go to Luma AI and test this prompt. So we are on Luma AI, and now I pasted the generated prompt and hit the send button. And after some time, I got this result. Now, let's go to our custom GPT prompter again. We want to create a prompt for Luma, image to video. So, first of all, let's type restart to restart the conversation. Then again, it will ask you to choose between Luma and Runway ML. So let's choose Luma again by entering one. Then it will ask us to choose between these three options. As we want image to video prompt, we need to enter two. Then it will ask us to upload an image, which we want to convert into a video. So let's upload the image. Once the image is successfully uploaded, click on the send button. And you can see that this custom GPT has created this amazing and well-structured prompt for Luma image to video. Let's copy this prompt, and let's go to Luma to test the result. Here on Luma, first of all, click on this image icon to upload the image to convert it into a video. Then, we need to paste the generated prompt here. Uncheck this enhanced prompt option, and then hit the send button to convert image to video. And after some time, I got this result. Now let's go to our custom GPT prompter again, and this time, let's try to create a prompt for Luma keyframe video. So again, we need to type restart to start the chat again. Then type one to select Luma AI. Now type three for keyframe video prompt. Now it asks to upload the image for the initial frame. So let's do it. Once the image is successfully uploaded, hit the send button. Now it is asking to upload the image for the final frame. So let's do that too. Once the image is successfully uploaded, hit the send button again. And here is our prompt for Luma keyframe video. And this is the result from this prompt. Similarly, let's type restart again to start a new chat. And now type two to select runway ML gen two alpha prompter. Then enter the scene idea. And here is our prompt for Gen 3 Alpha. I used this prompt and got this result from Gen 3 Alpha. Now you must be curious to learn how you can create your own custom GPT prompter. Trust me, this is very simple. Just follow these steps along with me. To create a custom GPT, first we need to create a flow. You can see that I created this flow for our custom GPT. When the user starts a conversation, it should show two options. One is Luma AI prompter, and the second is Runway ML Gen 3 prompter. If the user selects Luma AI prompter, then our custom GPT should show three options. First, text to video. Second, image to video. Third, keyframe video prompter, and so on. I just created this flowchart so I don't get confused. Once my flowchart was ready, I wrote all the steps in a notepad file, as you can see here. I also added the summary of the Runway ML Gen 3 Alpha Guide here. With these prerequisites, I was ready to create my own custom GPT prompter for Luma and Runway ML Gen 3. To create a custom GPT, you need to visit the ChatGPT official website. Once you're on the official website, click on Explore GPTs. Then, you will reach this page. Here, click on the Create button. Then, this new screen will appear. Here, you will see some options to configure. We will do this later. This is the preview area, where we can test and preview our custom GPT. Then we will see a Create button here. Just click on it. 
Then you will see this message from ChatGPT. Hi, I will help you build a new GPT. What would you like to make? So here we need to provide information about the custom GPT, like what we are trying to make, how this will help users. So I am providing here. I want to create Luma and Gen3 Alpha Prompter, which will be designed to assist users in generating and refining visual and text prompts for generating video using Luma AI and Runway ML Gen3, with a focus on creativity, clarity, and effective communication. It helps users brainstorm, edit, and optimize prompts to achieve the desired outputs from AI systems like Luma AI and Runway ML Gen3. It provides guidance on structuring prompts, selecting key elements, and enhancing details for improved results. It emphasizes user-friendly interaction, adaptability to various needs, and maintaining a balance between specificity and openness for creative exploration. Once you hit the send button, it will start training our custom GPT with the provided information. And once it updates the provided information, it will suggest a name for this custom GPT as it is suggesting name Luma and Gen3 Alpha Prompter. Well, this name looks perfect for our custom GPT prompter, but I want to add by Zappiwala also. So I replied, let's go with name Luma and Gen3 Alpha Prompter by Zappiwala. Again, you can see that it is updating and training our custom GPT with updated information. And this will update and train every time we pass some new information. Once it updates the information, then it will create a profile picture for this custom GPT. And here's the profile picture, which looks decent, but I want to update it later. So I replied, well, this profile picture looks decent, but I will update it later. Now, in the preview window, you can see that the name description and profile picture of this custom GPT have been updated. And we are ready with the basic setup. Now it's time to train our custom GPT to follow the flowchart which we made and finally provide us with the prompt. So, let's go to the flowchart. You can see that once the chat is initiated, it should show two options. Now, let's go to our notepad and copy the first step. Now go to our custom GPT and paste it. In this first training, I am teaching my custom GPT that I will provide following options to start the conversation. If user does not select an option from conversation starter and instead type something which does not meet the options, then ask them to select between first, Luma AI prompter, second, Runway ML Gen 3 Alpha prompter. Also write one as the default after providing the option. Once we hit the send button, our GPT will update the provided information in its memory. Now, let's test it in the preview window. Now, it's time to go ahead with the GPT training and teach it if the user selects Luma AI, then ask them to select one of the options from these three options. So, let's go to Notepad and copy step two. Now, let's go to our GPT and paste this step which says, if the user selects Luma AI prompter, ask the user to select between one, text to video, two, image to video, three, keyframe video. Also write one is the default after providing the option and hit the send button. And you can see that GPT is updating this provided information in its memory. Here, ChatGPT is asking me to provide the tone to interact with the users. So I replied with, keep the tone formal. And you can see that this information is going into our GPT memory. Now let's test this in the preview window. Now let's go to step three. If the user selects text to video, then GPT will ask to provide a scene idea. And based on the scene idea, our custom GPT will provide a well-structured prompt. So now let's go to our custom GPT and add step three, which says, if the user selects text to video, ask them to provide a scene idea in one line. Once user provides the scene idea, then create a prompt for the given scene idea. I will provide you prompt guide in the last. Once we hit the send button, then GPT will be updated with the provided information. Let's test it in the preview window. Now, let's go to the flow and see what should happen if the user selects image to video. Then it should ask to upload the image which we want to turn into a video. Then chat GPT will analyze the image and provide us with a well-structured prompt. Now let's go to Notepad and copy step four. Now let's go to Custom GPT and paste this step which says, if the user selects image to video, ask them to upload the image for image to video. 
keep asking to upload image until image is successfully uploaded. If the image is successfully uploaded, then analyze the main subject in image and provide a prompt for image to video. I will provide you prompt guide in the last. Once we hit the enter button, then our provided information will be updated in our custom GPT's memory. Now it is asking to provide the prompt guide. For which I replied, I will provide that in the last. Now let's test this in the preview window. You can see that this prompt is very large, but we will train our GPT to provide a structured prompt. Now, if the user selects keyframe video prompter inside Luma, then our GPT should first ask to upload the image for the initial frame. And once the initial frame is uploaded, then it will ask to upload the final frame. Then after analyzing both images, it should provide the prompt for a smooth transition between the initial frame and final frame. Now let's go to our notepad and copy step five and then go to custom GPT and paste step five, which says, if the user selects keyframe video, ask them to upload the image for the initial frame. Keep asking to upload image until image is successfully uploaded. If the image is successfully uploaded, then ask them to upload the image for the final frame. Keep asking to upload image until image is successfully uploaded. Once both initial frame image and final frame image are uploaded, then analyze both the images and provide a prompt with smooth transition between initial image and final image. I will provide you prompt guide in the last. And once we hit the send button, then this information will be updated in our custom GPT's memory. Let's test this in the preview window. Now, if the user selects Runway ML Gen 3 Alpha, then our GPT should ask to enter the scene idea. Next, it will analyze the scene idea and provide a well-structured prompt. Now let's go to Notepad and copy step six. And let's go to our custom GPT and paste step six, which says, if the user selects Runway ML Gen 3 Alpha prompter, then ask provide a scene idea. Once the scene idea is provided, then create a prompt for the given scene idea. I will provide you prompt guide in the last. Once you hit the send button, custom GPT will update the provided information in its memory. Now, if the user types restart, then our custom GPT should restart the chat. So let's go to our notepad and copy step seven. And now let's go to our custom GPT and paste the step which says, if the user types restart, then ask them to select between one, Luma AI prompter, two, Runway ML Gen 3 Alpha prompter. Also write one as the default after providing the option. Once we hit the send button, then it will update our custom GPT's memory with the latest information. Now it's time to train our custom GPT by providing the prompt guide information. This is the official prompt guide released by Runway ML, which has lots of information. But I noted down the important points from the prompt guide in my notepad. So simply copy this prompt guide information and let's go to our custom GPT and paste the information and then hit the send button. And you can see that our custom GPT is storing this information in its memory. So, till now we have trained our custom GPT for providing well-structured prompts for Luma AI and Runway ML Gen 3 Alpha. Now, let's click on the Configure button. Here, you can see all the information which we provided has been updated and stored here. Now we need to set up conversation starters here. So, let's remove existing options for conversation starters and add the first option as Luma AI prompter and the second option as Runway ML Gen 3 prompter. Now, if you want to change the logo, then you can do it from here. Now we are all set to publish this custom GPT and to do so, click on the Create button. Then here you see these three options. We want to make it public for everyone, so I will click on GPT Store. Then we need to choose the category. 
Then click on the Save button. You will get this link. And using this link, anyone can access this custom GPT prompter. Now, let's test it. That is it for this video. See you soon in another video. Best.